With all of this autumn rain, most of our gardens are looking quite green and lush, but they could always do with a bit of a pick-me-up, and that could come in the form of some colour. Now, today we have Heather from Bunnings Botany with us. Welcome, Heather. Now, tell me, what have you brought in with you? Well, today I've brought in a selection of potted colour that I have planted in some pots, and just a just a basic variety of what you can find in our garden centre at the moment. Okay, now I've selected this one for you to pot up yes, for me. So you have. pot and we'll talk at the same time. Yes. Um, is there any particular kind of soil that we should be looking at using? Uh, well, I think you should always use a you know a good potting mix that's got nutrients in it that the plants can do well with. Okay, because you want the plants to have the best start, don't you? Yes. And you had this bag open and you said you must ask me, why is the bag of potting mix open? Yeah, well, we suggest that you open it and I always say to people, just you know, open it, walk away for five minutes, let it breathe, let all the uh, moisture out of that bag just sort of escape in the atmosphere. Um, we suggest that you use uh, dust masks, anything just to, you know, keep yourself safe. Really, because you can get all sorts of greeblies from, That's from right. soil. Yeah, so open it up, go make a cup of tea, come back and plunge. Okay, and don't just stand over it and breathe in, also would be good no, advice, wouldn't no, it? No, no. <laughs> okay, I think I can possibly manage that. That's right. Because it is a really good fun thing to do with kids as well, so you do want to know about all of these tips and tricks. Yeah, I think it's best to be safe. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing there? Is it, did you have to break down the roots very much? I, I just loosened it up a little bit, and basically this little pot is perfect size for this dianthus, and I'm just refilling the gaps. So dianthus, is this a good one to put in, in winter? Yeah, it's a lovely one. It's, it has a scent. Um, you know, there's lots of different colours. Very pretty. So all of these things that you brought in, these are for outdoors. Excuse yes. my ignorance. These are for outdoors. They are. Uh, is there anything that I can just plant and forget? I mean, what sort of maintenance do I need to do with it? Uh, well, a lot of the plants that we've chosen, um, they do need a bit of maintenance. You need to deadhead the old flowers just to keep the new ones coming on. Right. But very little maintenance. So that's just basically taking off the dead ones, and even I can manage that. Yes. Uh, what are these ones called? These are these are uh, petunias. No, no, pansies. Pansies. Pansies and pech. No. I want to find petunias. No. Get me some petunias. I recognise those ones. Uh, Sometime you have... you'll find them. Oh, okay. So uh, what is a time? No. <laughs> Bother. This so... one. This one here is uh, polyanthus. Right. Um, and pansies, and the tall one there is uh, Antirrhinum. So you can plant them quite close together in a, in a container like this. You don't have to have them separated by a great distance. I've probably overplanted that because I really wanted to make a statement because each plant needs a little bit of room. But well, you can mix and match anything. It looks really great. Make a great present yeah. too. A great present for a mother-in-law or something. And also, I guess, herbs are always a good idea. Yep, you can do herbs in a planter like this or your potted colour, cyclamens, prevalent in wintertime, anything can go in there. Is there anything that you would recommend as, uh, just say someone's not the particularly the best gardener and they'd like some potted colour that's pretty low maintenance and that they will have a hard time killing in their garden, what would you recommend <laughs> to that sort of person? Um, <laughs> you know, just saying, asking we, for a We have the real plants outside, not the plastic ones. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so... Look, anything like this, it looks as though it could be hard, but it's actually not. It's very easy. Okay. And so I, we, anyone at Bunnings can help you with it. Right, so the pansies and things, that sort of thing. Well, these are all great. These are beautiful plants, and you have actually inspired me to get some of this onto my back deck to make it nice. So thank you so much for coming in, Heather. You really have made me feel quite good. And you know what? Uh, when Heather is not giving out great advice on the tally, she is with, uh, she's, with, she's a member of the Botany Store Bunnings in Auckland, and you can ask her or her team any of the questions about your garden that you may have.